Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Half of the workforce have returned, so <laughs> the garden will now get attention again. And she's picking uh, peas. Excellent, so sweet and brilliant. I like it. We also have to harvest some of the artichoke, but we are not sure if this is now the eating edible artichoke or more a decorative one. Uh, it almost appears it's not that fleshy. A beautiful plant, but uh, not for eating. Then we also have strawberries to harvest. And Swiss chard. Yeah. Here we have the broody duck. And there we have the non-broody duck. And there we have the polygamist. And then we have two more on the other side. These two males, they this is a couple, the male on the other side, they are fighting non-stop, I don't know why. This is the nest of the duck we have just seen. I've placed the wheelbarrow on top because I realize the uh, sun shines on this drum. They, she preferred this instead of the house but she doesn't spend much time on the eggs so I have little hope for them this is the chicken run or chicken uh, tunnel <laughs> it's the first day in here These are the geese, orcas. Uh, I presume they are males. Those are plastic eggs I've placed there. And then the dogs next door, and then the chicken run next door. Here we have Two broody hens, but I am still very confused about how this works. These are plastic eggs. Uh, there was a third broody one, and suddenly there are no eggs, and these sitting hens they have more eggs and we have no eggs for the house anymore so they steal the eggs amazing these anthenas the hallmarks they now have a lot of pollen uh, so much so that it actually hangs down I did cut all the branches so that I could walk underneath it, but look how it's hanging. So it's heavy. And then the next one won't have any because it has only the female reproductive part I have also learned that these trees are 
quite clever in the sense it will have pollen for some time and then it will have the stamen on uh, for some time and so it makes sure that it gets pollinated uh, preferably from another tree but uh, it is organized it is part of nature it does what it's doing the grasses are two meters tall the seeds We expect a little bit more rain in the next few days. That is good. We have planted a lot of things on the berms of the swales. We still have a lot to do. This one we finished. This one is next. We uh, only cleared the middle part where the drip line is and we make sure we expose all the plants that we want to have sun and then we mulch it. It works well. Oh, poppy. Ah. Luna. Luna. We still don't have any occupants for the nests. Not even wasps. We are patient. This is the type of grass I used to make my mini living weirs and uh, I can divide this into about 30 or 40 different plants it grows as well as vetiver the canut system the what we believe the Moorish designed and built system is still full excellent some cape gooseberries luna also likes to eat them she sniffs it and then she enjoys it i will get this one before her the dog sandbox is ready again The cystus is in full bloom. Here next to the creek we have some wild rosemary. Excellent. Here in our wilderness area a lot of these creepy crawly nitrogen fixers in nature so this is forest we have to copy this this is the second kind of lupin we have on the farm uh, wild as well this is more bush like Excellent, I like it. It's Polofnia, making new shoots everywhere, including the bottom. And this one as well. And this one as well.
here in this rehabilitated erosion gully. We have vetiver and grasses and sorghum and uh, this is from last year. Soon we will plant the sorghum for this year. Some of the tall, tall olovnias we have and then the cuttings I have placed in the soil next to it doing very well and this is a hackberry or meth Till next time. Goodbye.